I'm sitting here at my RV dinette table. I don't use this to have dinner with the husband and the kids. I use this to do many, many hours of work. This space is very cramped. So today, my normal RV desk is changing from this to this, thanks to Eric from Wonderboom. Of everything in my rig, since I've been on the road, having a good desk space has been my biggest challenge, and it's the thing that I've needed the most. It's where I spend most of my time. Well, I totally scored, y'all, because I am camping with Eric Wonderboom. Look, if you don't know Wonderboom, go and check out the things that he does. He is an alchemist with wood. He came in here and he asked me specifically what I needed in my space, and I told him. Uh, if I'm working for long hours, I like to use a monitor, but I don't want to have the monitor up all the time. There is this foldable chair that I've kept here that I could keep in storage under the bed, but it's hard to get to. And I was wondering if there was a way to store it out here. I wanted a way to store the monitor while I was traveling. Maybe a more ergonomic keyboard, maybe some storage. Because right now, things like my camera equipment have to go into a really tall shelf over here. And I actually have to take these big bins down or these big drawers down every time I need to get something I have to stand on the couch and pull it out just to get a cord or something so the stuff that I use most of the time is going to go in here and I cannot wait to show you guys what he came up with genius genius when he's done I am going to have a beautiful desk that can work just like it is now except for that it can turn into a dinette table it can turn into a desk it has storage for my laptop and devices. It has a hideaway keyboard and a place to store my monitor. I had no idea any of this was even possible. And you guys can see he's out there working right now. This dinette came with four chairs, two regular and two collapsible. But for me, it really hurt my back to sit in those chairs for lots of hours. So I went out and got this good chair, but I had to take the arms off of it to even get it to fit back here and to sit in it like I am now. I actually have to turn the chair out, sit in it, and then turn back. I actually can't even get into the chair in this space while it's turned towards the table. You guys can see here that this dinette table that came with the RV doesn't have any legs, which is great. It's mounted on the wall on these two rails. Well, the first thing I thought I would do is literally just unscrew it and move it down the wall towards these chairs you know, like Walmart style on some milk crates or something. Wow, you already moved it down the wall? <laughs> yep. So that is the base the original desk was on. Yep. And this, this stayed right where it was. The other one was there. So I pulled it out of there, shifted it over here. Cool. Did you need a stud over there? Um, actually, not so much. This one, there is a, a fairly decent layer of plywood here, but or I'm going to have a big solid piece coming up, you know, on the back here as well. So that's going to create the... The, the actual more support out on the end here, so. So what's going on now, Eric? Uh, a little preparation for our, our uh, whitewashing and our polyurethane. Cool. So we're just pr protecting the floor, making sure everything stays nice and clean. Really looking forward to what this looks like with the whitewash on it. Yeah. Okay, here we are. It's like day, what, three? About three, yeah. Uh, three. And, um... This is kind of what it's going to look like. He's doing a little kind of mock-up, putting it together before it's whitewashed and stained. It looks good. Oh, look at that, you guys. Yeah, there's a drill under there. <laughs> wow. So when my slide goes in, it'll be just this side. But if I want to work with somebody else or have more room, it pops out into a big old long desk. Looking good, Eric. One of my concerns was while traveling, I wanted to make sure that my monitor that I use when I'm working really long hours was able to store away. So look what he came up with, you guys. A handy dandy little slot that fits precisely for its... At an angle. Now I can take angle. the base off of there. Yeah, this part comes off. If I just was gonna pop it in there to travel, I wouldn't. But if I was going to be storing it in there and doing other work, I would because it would give me more sta space. But underneath that, he found more storage. And then I also have these other cubbies. It's genius. The whole thing is just genius. Open. Closed. 
And we found these hinges that hold what, 350 pounds? Uh, something like that, yeah. On they're Amazon. Up there. Look, mom, no legs. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, Look like at that. that big dust space. You definitely don't want to sit out here on the ends or anything, but uh, oh well, damn but it. It'll, it'll hold plenty of strength for um, uh, for puzzles and uh, and your typical office workspace. So yeah, and it's a double workspace. Somebody can be on that side, right? And somebody can be on this side. Perfect. Yeehaw. Good job. Wonder boom. Bam. This is maple, right? Yep. And now Eric's just putting a little whitewash on it. Yeah. So what is the uh, recipe you're using here? Uh, just basically a 50-50, 50% uh, paint, 50% water. Um, okay, what kind of paint? It up. Um, where is it? It's uh, a latex, uh, just standard latex paint for uh, your, your typical walls or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, watered it down. Yep, watered it down nice. And then uh, basically you wipe it on. And it doesn't have to be pretty when you first put it on. It just you just want to get it into the grain, and then uh, then I follow up with with a dry rag. Right. Oh, lovely assistant Robin just brought this in. Hey, look at that. There it this is. This is the exact paint he's using. Yeah, and so. we're doing this because this is my countertop. So we're actually getting it to match a little bit. And then after this, what are we doing to it? Then we will be putting two coats of oil-based polyurethane. Cool. Seal it up good and make it nice and tough. This thing is really starting to look beautiful. Eric just put on the second coat of polyurethane. It's a semi-gloss. So it's shinier now than it probably will be because it's drying. But the cubby storage section back there has been taken off. It is out there drying. And tomorrow morning we're going to put final touches on it and put in a little keyboard holder. I'm very excited to get to use this. We're doing the last little bit of installation here. We put a little more polyurethane right there, and he brought back in the little shelves, and he's going to secure it all. And what else? Put on the keyboard? Yep. Mount holder? The, mount the, yep, the keyboard. And that's it. Unit, and that's it. Guess what's behind us? You're not going to, you'll never guess. Ready? Ready for the, the chorus of angels to sing? <laughs> Eric, will you give us a tour? Sure. Of your desk that you built? My custom desk, you guys. Your desk. Your desk. Okay, tell us all the little cool stuff you added to it. Okay, so we moved the uh, the old table set kind of right about here, so it was very tight for this chair to be in the back here against the wall. So we shifted everything down, so we maximized the space between the this end and the chairs that had to stay put. And a big aspect of it was to have a little extension here so that... Uh, she could do additional things with it, so we added this handy, handy pop-up table. So, able to do puzzles or just spread out to do additional work and have a nice work area. Also created a nice little bookcase kind of space over on the end over here, which we'll get some close-ups of shortly. And uh, a little place to put, park the monitor when, she, when uh, traveling. And also got a hold of this lovely little slide-out uh, tray so that... Uh, uh, very ergonomic and everything for uh, working and writing over here, so uh, helped it with that. And then we also have uh, some additional storage on the other side, so that uh, while sitting in the chairs, uh, there's a little more useful space to use on the edge of the, uh, the seating area over there. Okay, here it is from the other side. Look how big that desk is. So I can sit across from somebody if we both sit in like the hallway. Thank you, flight attendant, for showing us. <laughs> Yes. So it can actually be a two-person desk if people are sitting across from each other. Three people can sit and have dinner still. And it's got all this cool storage. So what would you do back there, Eric? Well, let's see. I'm going to close this up so I have a little easier access to it. So this has the nice heavy-duty uh, glides there and our support braces to keep that up and locked in place. But uh, we figured, I was thinking, of, well, several things. First thing is the... With this space, kind of the end of the table and the chair, I thought, well, why, if we can't do much else, might as well create a little storage here. Plus, one of the other key fa factors was the chair that will be used at the end here needed a place to, to live. And her chair is a nice little foldable little chair. So we'll open this back up. And that just slides right out from there. Look at that. 
And it stores that whole chair. So that can just Bam. sit conveniently on the end here. And it has that really handy little space that was would have been just dead space on there. You know, with, with the chair there, you can't be sitting there at a table anyway. So I figure that makes sense to have uh, utilize that space. The chair can sit right in here. And uh, office area as well as, uh, like I said, eating area. Look, you guys. Look at all my space. Uh, this guy's like a, a magician. He came up with stuff for this that I never would have thought of. And so if you're looking for ideas or you want to know how to build stuff out in your own rig, I recommend you go check it out. Anyway, I'm actually going to be doing a tour of Wonder Boom's shuttle bus shortly, so look out for that as well. But for now, thanks so much. You're very welcome. I love it so much. I'm never going to leave. <laughs> You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be slouched over. I, I was already slouched over. <laughs> I spent so much time working at that dumb dinette until my back was killing me. This is a dream come true for me. Seriously, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. You guys, this is Eric from Wonderboom. And both of us wish you happy travels and be free.